Hi and welcome to our Birding Insights vlog. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, first of all, sorry it's been a while since the last episode. Um, so I'm here in Darien, which is the easternmost province of Panama, uh, staying at the Canopy Camp, which is part of the Canopy family si uh, series of lodges. As you can see, surrounded by some fantastic lowland tropical rainforest, it's an amazing place to get in amongst some really amazing wildlife. Um, now I have to warn you that this vlog does contain uh, some pretty gripping footage of a rather large sloth and monkey eating eagle. So if you've never seen one then uh, be prepared to be gripped by that. Otherwise I hope you enjoy some of the footage of the amazing birds and wildlife that we've seen while we've been here. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. So I thought I'd start off with one of my personal favourites. This is the barred puffbird fantastic looking beast and uh, so most of the puff birds in uh, Central America are black and white birds actually the black breasted white necked and pied uh, which we've seen on this trip but this guy is a little bit different uh, fantastic plumage and actually I noticed for the first time uh, on this trip that the puff birds have a different toe configuration to, to many other species and of course it, when you think about it, it explains why they're next to the kingfishers and the like in their field guide with those two forward pointing toes and, and two rear facing but they're a wonderful group of birds and this one is definitely my favourite and of course uh, a Darien speciality as well. Now oh, guide Eliezer is uh, it's just amazing at, at imitating some of the, the calls of the birds we're looking for. He's been whistling this bird ever since we arrived in Darien. It's a striped cuckoo. And after about three or four days of uh, listening to him, we finally got to hear the bird. And uh, one has, uh, has popped up right beside the track and uh, given us some brilliant views. But I just love that f absolutely fantastic crest that is popping up and down, almost pulsating as the, as the bird's calling. Fantastic bird. On the last vlog we brought you some footage of the rufous tail jacamar, which is quite a widespread bird through Central and South America. Um, this is a dusky backed jacamar, uh, and this species is, is really range restricted. It's only found in eastern Panama and parts of northwest Colombia, so it's a very, very good bird to catch up with. And we've visited the Embera village of Nueva Vigia today by boat. This was one of our big targets, but I just love the way that it, it perches like this with these such quick head movements, constantly scanning as if to say, oh, no, don't like that one, don't like that one. No, too small. Oh, yeah, there's one. And it, all of a sudden it will shoot up, grab an insect, come back to the same perch. But it's constantly scanning and looking and watching for prey. Just a brilliant bird. You'd actually barely know that this was a video if it wasn't for the leaves just catching the breeze there. Um, this is a juvenile, rufescent tiger heron. We've inadvertently flushed off a forest trail and it's just gone up and perched absolutely motionless. We managed to find a little window where we can get a scope onto it and enjoy its fantastic plumage. What a lovely looking bird. Well, good morning. Um, massive day for us today. Um, probably the biggest day of the trip. Um, we're going for the Harpy Eagle. Uh, five o'clock in the morning, just getting light, howler monkeys are just striking up outside. Um, yeah, I think everybody's going to be a bit nervous and, and tense probably in equal measure today because uh, obviously it's such a big bird. Um, we're going to go and visit a nest site for the harpy. Uh, so a little bit of a journey to get there. We've got to travel, uh, travel down to Yavisa, which is the town at the end of the Pan American Highway. Um, and from there we've got to take a boat along the Chichinake River. Uh, and then we've got a hike uh, of around an hour, so we're hoping that the, that the rain's going to hold off for us today um, so that the track's not too muddy. Um, as I say, it takes about an hour to, to walk to the nest area. Now, the, we're told the chick is about three months old, um, so that hopefully should mean that, fingers crossed, one of the adult birds is, is always likely to be around. So we do have a really, really good chance of seeing this bird. So, yeah, a lot of nervous excitement today. I think it's going to be a bit of a quiet quiet van as we're driving up to your visa everyone's you know really up for this so uh, yeah with any luck um, we'll be able to come back to you a little bit later on with some footage of a harpy eagle so uh, 
Gonna go and have some breakfast now and uh, catch up with you later. Well, here we go uh, into the land of the Harpy Eagle, or so we hope. Um, we're uh, whizzing along the Chuchinake River uh, from the uh, town of Yavisa at the end of the Pan American Highway. Uh, you can see fantastic rainforest all around and lots of these big emergent trees, the Quipo, um, the favourite nesting tree of the Harpy. And uh, well, fingers crossed, we'll, we'll soon be seeing one. Well, we've reached the uh, the little farmstead uh, where we've been met by uh, the owner of the land and his daughter is going to lead the trek for us um, up to uh, the area where the harpy's nesting. So, uh, yeah, it's just about to start raining, I think, so it may get a bit muddy. Um, so we'll have to see how we go, but I'm sure there'll be some birds to see on the way too. Totally unbelievable. Um, Eliezer has just turned around with a big grin on his face and uh, asked me to, to use my scope. And uh, he's put this in and there it is. And we think this is the male harpy eagle. Uh, it's a long way away. I'm having to use quite a lot of zoom to get this. But yeah, the male just post rainstorm is just sitting there having a preen and, and obviously drying himself out and before he goes off hunting. Um, yeah, we think this is a male. The female should be close to the nest. We're going to keep searching. Wow. Um, just wow. No words for this, really. Um, we've We've hiked into the forest and passed under the nest tree um, and the local guides found us a little window again where we can stand quietly and look back up and the rain's done us a favour this this is the female we think she's probably been brooding the, the chick as the chick's quite small and now the rain stopped she's just moved onto an adjacent branch and she's sitting there with her wings slightly open just trying to get herself dry and having a preen and we've just getting the most unbelievable views surrounded by mosquitoes and covered in mud and uh, wet through but I, I honestly don't think there's a better bird in the world than this just look at the feet on this bird what an amazing specimen and we're very 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 lucky to get views like this Wow, what an amazing experience that was. Um, we're just leaving the, uh, the harpy nest area now, uh, having seen the bird and everyone's just buzzing. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, not gonna lie to you, we've had to, uh, we've had to cope with a lot of heavy rain, mud, quite a few mosquitoes, but it's been so worth it. And uh, yeah, so now we're just uh, trekking back to the river and uh, I'll take the boat back to the camp and uh, I think we're going to be chilling out this afternoon and editing lots of photos. It's been just a once in a lifetime experience for these guys and well and for me. Um, so yeah, very very happy. Well this is why it's called the rainforest. Uh, we've had some pretty torrential uh, rain while we've been here at Canopy Camp and uh, we've just had to hole up back in the camp through this massive thunderstorm and it's absolutely pouring down um, so yeah it's going to make conditions underfoot a little bit interesting for this afternoon I think but still impressive and just above the camp here we've got a fantastic uh, nesting colony of these rather bizarre birds as chestnut headed oropenda look at that display it's absolutely mad I'm going to be quiet so you can hear it too It's kind of an amazing whooshing sound and they make lots of uh, electrical uh, sounds and popping and whooshing. It sounds like sort of water being poured down a, down a toilet. Just uh, bizarre. Fantastic birds to have. Now, they're, they're building the nests at the moment. They're just at the start of their nesting season. Um, so there's a lot of construction going on, lots of coming and going and lot, lots of calling.
another res regular visitor to the camp and uh, moving on to mammals uh, from birds for a bit uh, white faced capuchin monkeys uh, um, oh <laughs> wow I thought he was going to choke on that um, just uh, we put some bananas out onto the bird table and a whole troop of them have just rushed down and they make short work of hoovering up these bananas Now, of course, we've got the uh, mantled howler monkeys around camp as well, but they are uh, quite lethargic animals. They're, they're totally vegetarian and spend the whole day sitting in the trees, uh, uh, sort of resting, and then they forage mainly you know, on on leaves. Uh, so it's not a, a, a rich diet, and as such, they, they have to spend a lot of time just lazing around, but the capuchins are much more mobile. Staying on a mammal theme, here's a three-toed sloth. And what a brilliant reaction there. Um, to Elias's whistle, and he's calling a hawk eagle. Um, well, some of us are watching the sloth and just noticed it reacting to his whistle. And uh, well, he says that uh, the whistle is also quite similar to the mating call of the female three-toed sloth. Uh, so this this is a male, and he's just, uh, he's obviously just getting a bit excited by it. What fantastic creatures they are! So that the sloth. So a bit of a change of scenery today and uh, back into sort of deep forest looking for some of the forest interior birds. On the last vlog um, back in Costa Rica we brought you some footage of some uh, uh, birds attending the ant swarm. We're certainly going to be looking for um, the army ants today, see if we can catch up with some of these cool wrens and ant birds and ant thrushes. Um, it's not easy going so we'll see how we get on. Now this little bird is a song wren um, and we've just come across this nest mid-construction close to the pipeline road and it's really dark and dingy in here and the song wren is very much a forest understory bird um, but I'm not quite sure what's going on here because we've got five or six of them hopping around in the murk on the forest floor and I'm not actually sure whether it's all of them or just two of them that are coming to attend this nest but there's a lot of coming and going and uh, they're really busy and getting some great views. Streak chested ant pitter, one of my all time favourite birds, and uh, probably going to be one of the highlights of the trip. Um, getting any views of any ant pitter is never easy. You can see that I'm struggling to get a window through the foliage where I'm not obscured by leaves. Um, but what a magnificent little bird, and I just love the way that it kind of inflates like it's got a bicycle pump going up its backside. Every time it uh, it calls, just a, a real privilege to get a close view like this. Of course, no session in the forest interior would be complete without these guys. Uh, leaf cutters going about their work. They're farmers, of course, the leaf cutters, and uh, taking the leaves down underground into the nest where they they farm a fungus. Um, just amazingly industrious creatures and it's, it's, it's always impossible to walk past the stream of them without watching them. This is another real skulker and uh, this is by far the best view we've had of this bird. Uh, White-bellied ant bird is always in dark thickets. Oh, off he goes. Well, we're finishing our trip out in the open, down in the, the heat of the Pacific coast, different habitat, dry forest. We just stopped by the side of the road and we could hear ferruginous pygmy owl calling and we could not work out where the sound was coming from. But eventually we realised it was above our heads and it's obviously nestled in this telegraph pole. Brilliant. 
I'm Ashley Saunders and thanks for watching our Birding Insights vlog. Don't forget you can head over to our website orielbirding.com for more information on our canopy camp and harpy eagle tour to Panama in 2020. Thanks for watching.